with translation into English, calling Mathieu Aubert. Mathieu is head of legal and the manager of partner relations, Safe Brands, and Alexander Negresco, who is uh, head of project of STG Interactive. Jean Emmanuel, um, the floor is yours. Tell us a little bit about um, how we connect to FCR with Matthew and Alexander. Yes. Thank you, Stefan. Thank you, Matthew. Thank you, Alexander, for being with us uh, for this uh, Fragrance Technology Conference 4. And let me introduce you guys first. Um, you're part of uh, STG Interactive. Uh, uh, STG Interactive is the operator of the Central Fragrance Register, which means you are part of the company that has a, a delegation co a con contract delegation with OP3FT to do the technical and commercial administration of the central database where all fragrance addresses are hosted. Yes, sir, that is correct. And we're going to show uh, what you do, uh, what your productions are, and mainly uh, how the FCR, the account administrators, the, uh, uh, who they are your customers uh, at Safe Brand, uh, and how they distribute fragrance addresses, addresses and fragrance networks. Alexander, could you tell us uh, a little bit about uh, uh, what infrastructures have access uh, when someone wants to address the the central data uh, database uh, when they want to register uh, addresses for the clients what do they do well first of all if you want to open an account uh, or become an administrator you ha you could have to go through the HTML interface through the FCR app so here it is. So this is the first way to do this. Um, it's pretty straightforward. So you can do this on frogans.org. So the upper tab, we have the HTML interface. Yes, it's also right here. OK, so FCR Frogans. So here it is. This is the Frogans core registry. So if I want to uh, connect as an uh, uh, FCR account administrator, so we have priority registrations. We will come back to this later. So we are now on the HTML interface. That's the API of the FCR. That's correct. So we have this first link. And this link is the uh, API of the FCR. And we are experiencing some internet lagging. So rest assured, the API is working perfectly well. We are simply experiencing uh, a problem with our connection, which is a little unfortunate. We have some internet connections in the room. So once again, we access this website to, account, to open an FCR account and become an FCR account administrator, right? Yes, that is correct. So the HTML version of this site is a direct contact with the API. It's for professionals only. 
and it uh, enables you to do all actions available in the FCR. So FCA, FCR AA. You can work in your account, and you can uh, purchase dedicated programs network for themselves or for uh, their clients. However, in order to facilitate things, we developed an ISDK, a client, which allows us to attack the uh, API directly without going to the HTML interface. It's available in PHP and allows the uh, account administrators to to carry out all actions to facilitate operations, to automate, uh, uh, to uh, do things with uh, large volumes, uh, much bigger versus what you can do with the HTML. So you're using a lot of technical terms. SDK is the software development kit. Yes, that is correct. And what it is, it's a small an IT program. So account administrators, as you said, can use it to connect to the platform and perform different things without going through the HTML interface, right? That is correct. And it also enables account administrators to control the interface. They can make it more user-friendly. They can add actions that already exist on their own website, for example. So they have the freedom to do what they want to develop. We give them the functionalities, and they decide to use it the way they want to use it. So we uh, worked uh, with Save Brands. Save Brands were very kind. They accepted to test it with us, and today we've uh, given them a part of the SD SDK to to do the check availability. So what it does, uh, everybody today, uh, you can know if a dedicated uh, programs network is available, if it's a, or not, and if I can buy it or not. That's correct. We bought together to integrate this uh, the check availability uh, feature on our site, and uh, in a nutshell, just to give you some information about our company, we are a company that uh, um, uh, we assist our customers on for their internet names uh, and their uh, digital identity. The, protection and communication uh, around a brand online. So we specialize in domain names, portfolio management, and little by little, I mean, we've been in business for 17 years. It used to be called Main Club. It became Safe Brands. So we've um, diversified our uh, product or service portfolio, and we don't just do domain names anymore. Today we do a lot of consulting uh, with uh, uh, the registrations of other technologies, and this is the reason why we are with you uh, today. And we have a lot of additional uh, products such as monitoring, surveillance. Uh, we try to, to help our customers uh, on their online image. So we are clearly a leader uh, one of the, uh, and decided to be in a, uh, one of the first FCRs uh, to promote the fragrance technology. And uh, on our site, we had a dedicated section uh, for projects to explain to people what this new technology was about. And little by little, as the project grew, we decided to integrate this new feature, this uh, verification or, or, or um, availability to check feature in the site. So as you can see here, it's right there. We have online reputation. We have Frogans Network. And within Frogans Network, you have all kinds of information about the project. And if you click right here, there we go. This takes you to the check availability page, which uh, you mentioned earlier. It's very simple. Can I can I show you how it works? Please, please, go for it. So again, we're, we're, we are now looking at the check availability function. 
So what we do is we test, you put a name, and uh, it tells you immediately if it's available, if it's been booked. You can have different types of answers. Uh, so as uh, you said, you have to put the name. And of course, um, in this box, there are more than 170 languages. You can also, uh, depending on the category of script, you can choose the corresponding script for the domain name, the network, rather. So, uh, if I type Frogans, it says that this uh, is already booked. So if I type in my the, the previous name of my company, it is available. So now I can decide to register. Uh, to do so, I simply need to click on register now. So I'm already identified as a client on uh, on, on the site, and. So we decided to give people the possibility to, to do this, make this initial availability check. Once the request uh, is confirmed, our teams then get receive a notification, and we, we can then contact the person directly to give this person additional information. And, uh, and this is very important. The technology is new, and because of that, we think that it is very important to uh, provide uh, additional information on top of this pretty simple process. Right. If any other uh, account managers are, are interested, um, the work you've done with the operator is a test. Right. And uh, it uh, seems to be working pretty well. Uh, including for your customer. And uh, once the, we decide to beef up the development kit uh, with additional features from your website, you will be able to get more and more functions in the register without having to go through your technical teams or, go, or without having to go through the FCR operator. So we have something which is very simple to use. That's, that's right. On our site, uh, if you're interested, um, if you want to play with it, in our ordering system, we have a virtual keyboard. And you can use your virtual keyboard with different characters and different languages, different scripts, that is. And uh, you, can, you can also get translations and then launch the uh, availability check. OK, very impressive. Again, we are experiencing some networking um, difficulties, and I would like to apologize for this in the name of the team. Alexander, this functionality is the very first one. It's uh, in a development kit, which is written in uh, PHP. PHP is a, is a language. Uh, in the future, these development kits will be uh, made available in other languages as well, which means that FCR uh, account managers will be able to access the register from any information system. Correct? Yes. We're, we're, we are still working on this. In the future, we're, of course, looking at developing additional features and functionalities. The SDK in PHP will be available free of charge on uh, the fragrance side, site. And the next client uh, could be Java, SDK Java. So anyone using Java would be able to uh, use that. OK, and you're making it available free of charge on your site. Yes, that is correct. With the other resources as well, plus the re resources coming from OP3. FT. OK, once again, um, we uh, apologize for the connection um, issues we are experiencing. 
Hopefully, uh, you were able to uh, share what you wanted to share. I'm sure there have been there's, this has been a lot of work between your teams and the team teams of the operator to make this a successful integration. Could could I ask one question to Matthew? Your teams um, integrated this. How difficult was it to integrate this into your IT? Uh, tell us about the process. Well, I can give you the feedback I received from our technical teams. I think, uh, generally speaking, the integration went quite smoothly. There were no uh, glitches. Sometimes you do have problems, and this was a very smooth process uh, within uh, time. So um, it was quick, right? Yes, it was. OK. Alexander, Matthew, thank you both. Merci beaucoup. On profite de l'occasion pour prendre. Once again, um, we can take a few questions. Uh, SafeBrand is here. Um, if you're interested in questions for the FCR operator, Alexander, you're here. Alexander, make sure you thank your teams, uh, the technicians. I will. I will. Um, this. Uh, project is the hard work, is the, the result, the fruit of the hard work of a, of, of, of a big team. And hopefully, very soon, we will be able to offer it to everyone, all members of the team, the operator. Uh, and I think a, a lot of people are very much, uh, very eager to play with uh, what they created. And uh, we're very happy about your feedback, about the integration. We worked hard to make things easy. And uh, obviously, it's working out that way. Um, so uh, the, the hard work has paid off. I'm sure. I'm sure he did work very hard. And uh, we were very hard, very happy, sorry, to uh, uh, do this uh, with you. Again, it was a seamless process. Thank you. And uh, so once again, of course, I uh, encourage you to go to fcr.fragrance to uh, discover this SDK, and uh, why not integrate it into your information system if you're, an, if you're an FCR account administrator or if you want to become an administrator. Any questions? Oui, bon, bonjour. Uh, Hi. Got a question. How easy is it to explain to your customer the differences between a, a, a domain name and a Frogans? Uh, site. It's becoming easier. We've worked uh, hard to inform people about uh, the different options and innovations uh, that come with this new technology, but it's not always easy. Uh, I must say uh, that I am quite happy that we were uh, part of this uh, project very early. It gave us time to, to share and talk. Little by little, uh, we uh, discovered this. And uh, today, we're taking, it, uh, taking this to our, um, to our customers. Today, all this has become very tangible. We have demos. Uh, videos, we have different support and material developed by Frogans to explain to different stakeholders uh, what benefits uh, Frogans technology can, can bring. Um, I, I should say, however, that we still have a long way to go. And um, I, I think it depends on, 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 on the nature of your business. Uh, it depends on the nature of your clients as well. And it depends on how willing you are to innovate. Um, this is obviously, uh, you know, very, very innovative. I have um, another uh, question on safe brands and the safe brands uh, <coughs> site. You showed us different scripts. Is that something you're doing deliberately? to show that they can use different scripts, uh, Latin, Cyrillic. Is that your policy? Is that your corporate policy? Yes. 
Yes. Let me rewind a little bit. Uh, when we did uh, domain names, as you know, domain names you can uh, you can register them in, in, in Latin or in other scripts or different languages. Um, up to a few years ago, this wasn't possible. I think it was 2007 or 2008 when, with uh, thanks to ICANN and, uh, you know, with an emerging interest from different uh, communities and, and countries who didn't speak uh, the same language and who were not familiar uh, with, with the Latin characters, uh, all of a sudden it became possible to uh, you know, to get international domain names, IDN uh, characters. And uh, so we were very interested in this from, from the outset. B immediately, we felt that this would be, uh, this could be um, very interesting. Uh, and, and we felt it was important to communicate, you know, in certain markets like China, the Middle East, to communicate in the language of end users. And, um, so working on the integration script, was, uh, the script integration, it, it was was fun. Uh, of course, we worked on potential conflicts, uh, similarities, and so on. And um, again, it was great fun. And to really answer your question, yes, the answer is yes. We want to show what this, uh, how much this technology can do, how much it can enable. And again, you can communicate in different languages. Any additional questions? Okay, no questions. Thank you, Matthew. Thank you, Alexander. Thank you both. Stefan, je te rends ton micro. Stefan, here's your mic. Thank you, Jean Emmanuel. Gentlemen, thank you very much. Absolutely fascinating to hear about the Frogon's uh, ecosystem, which is growing uh, in front of us. Uh, I was thinking earlier, uh, I was having a conversation with uh, Amory and Alexi at OP3FT. Uh, we were genuinely interested in this. Uh, more, there was more and more activity, more and more business, and, uh, and the more people we meet, the more we meet with you, people from the ecosystem, the more we understand what's ahead of us uh, around Frogan's technology. Absolutely fascinating to see how much things are happening between each edition of the FTC.